like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave me a comment. Without further ado, Hyperdelic. Hey kids, it's Hyperdelic. Today, I'm excited, part of my Ladies of July uh, videos, uh, we're doing Evelyn, or Evelyn. <laughs> An ex-girlfriend whose uh, brother used to, her name was Lynn, and he used to make fun of her and call her Evil Lynn. After I broke up with her, I realized why. <laughs> hey <-o. laughs> All right, so anyways, this is Evil Lynn from the Cartoon Collection, Masters of the Universe. This is the filmation version of Evil Lynn, or at least Mattel's filmation version, because uh, Super 7 did do a filmation line. Um, they were good. But just like anything Super 7, it was overpriced, right? <laughs> like, it wasn't, it wasn't ridiculous. It wasn't crazy Super 7 Ultimates, but I think some of them honestly got up there. So, you know, it was like, ugh, that's, um, that's not, I like accessible action figures, okay? Like, do I admire, uh, what is it, 3-0 or whatever, and uh, SH Figure Arts and, and a few other, you know, of those types of lines? Yeah, I mean, I guarantee you, one of these days I will own a SH Figure Arts Spider-Man. Okay, I want one. <laughs> okay, and Spider-Man is the figure that I want. I uh, I don't believe in paying a hundred dollars for an action figure. I just don't. Okay, um, I think that that is too far. <laughs> but I don't begrudge anybody who does. I just it's my own personal thing, you know. Like I I just can't. I think I've mentioned this before. I'm Polish, and uh, I'm not trying to you know fall into a stereotype or anything, but. A lot of Polish people I know were frugal. Is the word I'm going to use? We're going to say frugal, <laughs> right? <laughs> we all know what word I'm I'm I'm, I'm beating the bu around the bush with. <laughs> it's cheap. <laughs> I'm cheap. I I am. I'm I'm cheap. I like, uh, but I don't go for like I don't go for the 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 um uh, what, what do you call it counterfeit or, or or you know knockoff bootleg ones. I don't go for any of those. Um, you know, I believe in supporting the you know, IP holder. Uh, but that does not mean that I have not bought uh, non-licensed uh, stuff before. Um, I've bought a few things from Ramen Toys. Um, and and I know they're going to be getting more license, licensing going into the future, and I'm happy about that. Uh, I really want Battle Bones for crying out loud. Can we please have that, licensed or not? I don't even care. <laughs> I just want one, okay? So, you know, get on that. Ace, Ace, I know we don't know each other, but we've been in the same chats. Brother, battle bones, huh? Help a Motu brother up. <laughs> Shout out to Ace from Ramen Toys. He uh, Ace always strikes me as a very good dude. Uh, he's answered my questions in chat plenty of times. So, uh, you know, he's approachable. Uh, if you want to know about something that they're doing, hit him up. Without further ado, we're gonna look, well, yeah, let's, let's hold off on that part. <laughs> we're gonna take a look at the back, the shaping staff. This is the same shaping staff that the Revelation Masterverse uh, Skeletor came with. The uh, the Netflix series version of Skeletor in Masterverse. That's the uh, that's the other thing other than his uh, Havoc staff that he came with. Because that's in the beginning of the, the, the show. He's using that to make himself look like He-Man or Clawful looks like He-Man. Something like that. I, I, I'd have to go back and watch it again, but I don't remember exactly how that scene played out. But I know that it was, you know, <laughs> they were using that to make themselves look like somebody else. Here's all of the other figures. I do not have these three. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get Clawful or not. I don't know. I'm, I'm holding off on web store. Um, I like my origins web store. Um, but this one is kind of cool. Uh, the evil in was a must. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to get evil in, in Masterverse when she comes out and get rid of the revelation one. Cause though it's nice, it's just not my evil in, right? Spike or might be on my list. Might be. But, like, they're now starting to get into that second wave of characters that I don't know if I want to collect them all again because I've got them in Origins. Um, I may get them just for the sake of reviewing them on this channel. Uh, if you guys want, you know, you want me to do that, let me know in the comments. You know, tell me, like, yeah, definitely do more of the cartoon collection. Uh, because I don't want to create content for you guys that you are uninterested in. Um, <laughs> and I know when I say you guys, that's, like, such a mixed bag of, like, everybody everywhere. One person wants one thing, another person wants another. <laughs> Anyways, no matter what it is you want, what we're going to do is rip into this card. All right, let's do that now. All right, check her out. That is Evelyn. That is Evelyn. 
uh, that 2000X version that we got in Origins and then the original version, doesn't hold a candle to this. I swear, these cartoon collection figures are the best ones that like Mattel has done. Like as far as the He-Man figures, I mean, I like these better than Masterverse. <laughs> okay, sorry, I said it. <laughs> I can't put that can't put that worm back in the can. <laughs> Let's get her spinning. We're gonna talk about her accessories. So what she come with. Well, we already mentioned the staff, right? It makes you uh, shift into looking like somebody else, right? The, the staff of, uh, of of shaping or something like that. Shaping staff. I don't remember. And then she comes with her iconic wand, right? Because that's what it's supposed to be, is a wand. Uh, I, I know that, like, there are some continuities where it starts off as a staff and was taken apart, but I want to I want to say that, like, it was intended to be just a wand, and people were like, well, that looks like it's only part of a staff or something. And so they, they decided to do all that <laughs> and do some weird lore with it to where it was a staff, but then now it's not, and that explains why it looks the way that it does. Whatever. <laughs> you know? Now... It, these, these, the origin female bucks are not easy to make stand and keep standing. She's gonna duff at some point, I think. But uh, I'm gonna talk about the last one, her last accessory, which is the comic that she comes with, The Shape of Vengeance. Uh, I like the art style of these ones. Uh, I know it looks a little bit more cartoony and that's that's okay, because it's supposed to be, right? It's the cartoon collection. Um, I don't know what that is. Hmm, if anybody knows what this is about, in the uh, uh mention it in the comments okay because i don't know what that is about uh, i don't know if that's an artist mark or what but <laughs> uh, i like these um I, I do i do i do like them a lot uh the the, the comics are always really good <laughs> like, they're they're well they're well designed uh and you know they're, it's okay writing it's all right writing uh, again, I keep saying that I'm going to do a series where I read the comics. I'm trying to figure out the lo logistics of it and the legalities of it. Like whether or not I'll get copyright stricken for reading these out loud. I don't know if I will or not. Um, but uh, if, if I can at some point, I will. Um, we'll just we'll figure it out when I, when I get around to it. I got a bunch of other things on my project list right now. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is a great line. Uh, and let's get, see, because she, she did, she took it up. <laughs> I absolutely love this Evelyn. She looks fantastic. We're going to take a closer look. Let's do that now. Hi, I'm Dylan. All right. And there's Evelyn. Man, it's nice. Uh, under my camera, her skin looks less yellow than to the naked eye. So what they did was they, they did a yellow skin with her, but not like that super stark yellow skin, right? Just slightly yellow. Almost, you know, almost jaundice <laughs> Sorry. Um, does she look fantastic? Oh, yeah. This is, I think this is, this is honestly the best representation of Evil Lynn that uh, Mattel has done since they rebooted uh, and, and started up Origins. Um, and that's, that's including the, uh, the, the, the Masterverse line. Um, I cannot wait for this version of Evil Lynn. This version is the one that I want. Okay. I love this hat. Like the, the the crown that she's wearing, basically, or the the I don't know what would that be? That's a you know, tiara, maybe. Uh, I don't know. It's a tiara with a helmet. It's a evil in thing, right? So then we come down to this. This is a softer PVC, right? So that may degrade in time. That is a part that you want to protect and keep uh, decent. This is harder plastic. But that is not. Right? And let's see if she comes apart. You can see where her waist separates and you can see the two different layers right because she's got a little bit of a she's got a little bit of a an undershirt thing going on oh, there's a little scratch on mine but yeah yeah you know to cover up the uh bustier uh, whatever the bust for modesty some of you like modesty some of you don't i uh, i'm a somewhere uh, in between kind of guy i like i like no modesty at home <laughs> my wife can be pantless all she wants <laughs> Right? Don't you wish you were my wife? <laughs> no, you don't. Trust me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, standard female Motu articulation. Her arms pop out, right? Uh, legs will come apart, but you got to use hot water for these guys. Uh, here's that wonderful Motu poseability. Look at that. Origins has excellent, 
<laughs> Excellent posability. And the female figures almost uh, seem to pose even better. I keep, there's like plastic threading. Like, you know, like uh, you ever melt plastic and you get those little spindles coming, you know, like the little threads that come off it? That's what it looks like is, uh, is, is stuck to her out of the packaging. That's okay. That's okay. We'll clean her up. But yeah, so, I mean, uh, standard ball and, you know, peg, you know, joint situation in here um, means you can do some nice articulation, but the butt gets in the way. Now, this gadonk is better, but I think they may have actually scaled her badonk down. Uh, I don't know if that's the same as the uh, the, the the cartoon collection Tila. Uh, I, I want to say she got more booty, but, you know, I could be wrong. <laughs> the colors are spectacular i love the blue and purple blue and purple are my two favorite colors of all time period so i mean you can't go wrong with a blue and purple action figure uh we come down to the legs she's got a boot cut right right here nice ankle articulation motu has decent articulation it's not the best origins and and the cartoon collection and turtles of grayskull they're not the best articulation but are they like three to four hundred times better than what we got in the vintage line originally oh yeah way better um and and you know you get some you'll see uh but right now what i want you to see is some close-up shots of evil in we're gonna do that now all right And we're back. I am going to say this in summary. She is my favorite version of Evil. Okay? She is. She's my favorite version of Evil Inn. Uh, out of all of the ones that I have, and even out of all of the ones that I've seen that I don't have. Because um, there's a few versions. I don't have the classics. Uh, I think there was more than one in classics. Uh, and I don't have the 2000X version. And I also do not have the Super 7 Filmation version. Um, but I don't care because I've seen them all and this one's my favorite. <laughs> so, you know, that's that. <laughs> um, uh, do I recommend getting her? abso freaking um, Just as an action figure alone, she is fantastic. Uh, the Motu Origins uh, female buck is a very nice action figure buck. Um, I like what they've done as far as like fixing her knees. Like this evil in benefits from all of the, all of the criticism that they've had from the beginning of the line, right? Those knees are better. Uh, the color is more like the original evil in, uh, though it is not as bright yellow. Uh, I know it looks, again, I said, I think I said this before, but uh, it, it looks brighter than it actually is in person. Um, she's, she's, she's a great example of what Mattel is doing right right now. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna give them props, man, because they, they really are. I know they're a soulless corporation, yada yada, company, this, blah, blah, blah. Um, but as far as their creative team goes, they've been knocking it out of the park. Uh, <laughs> so to the Mattel creative team working on the uh, Masters of the Universe uh, cartoon collection line, good job, way to go, like seriously. Like that's not, I'm not being facetious. Like you guys did a great job. Like, I am really impressed with her. I was excited when I saw her. I was like, finally, they did it right. <laughs> right? And I think that that's fantastic. Um, come here, Evelyn. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> right? Because she's she's sexy and sultry. <laughs> Lenny, <laughs> Lenny, tell me, t t tell all the folks out there what, what I need them to know. Over here, subscribe. Turn on notifications. <laughs> I can't do a sexy chick. <laughs> that probably makes a lot of my family members happy. <laughs> Thank God we don't have to worry about him doing that. <laughs> Becoming a sexy chick? Oh, God. <laughs> listen, listen. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Lenny, what else should they do? Down here, hit the like button. Because you know you liked it. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm an amateur idiot. That's why I make toy reviews. That's why you're watching toy reviews. Because <laughs> you are also immature. Just saying. <laughs> you know what else you guys can do? 
if you want to support my channel, you can check out all of the uh, links down below. I've got an Amazon wish list. I've got a Patreon page. Um, you get to download free music if you go to my Patreon page and become a member. It's only a dollar. Save the hyperdelics. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag save the hyperdelics. <laughs> um, also, uh, just another reminder, uh, I'm going to keep on doing this in all of my videos this month until uh, Comic-Con hits. But on Comic-Con, uh, on uh, Saturday the 27th, uh, I should be streaming off and on here and there throughout the day uh, on uh, Oz's Clubhouse. Uh, <clears throat> if you are not familiar, uh, the just, you know the link is down below as well. So uh, check that out. Subscribe to Oz's channel and uh, turn on notifications so that you get to see all the uh, stuff that we're going to do on Comic-Con. And, you know, like, I uh, I show up in the chat a lot on Saturday nights. Uh, so, you know, check it out. I may say something uh, stupid, inappropriate, or hilarious. <laughs> that seems to be everybody's MO in that chat. <laughs> we, are all, we are all stupid, immature, and hilarious. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, again, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for being a supporter. Share and like my video. Uh, comment. Let me know what you think. Give me some feedback uh, and subscribe, folks. Subscribe for crying out loud. I can see that there's a lot of returning, you know, people watching, but they're not subscribing. You're not doing me no good. <laughs> you subscribe. That way, that way I can do better stuff. Trust me, once I can get like some form of monetization going in these videos, you're going to see other improvements. My camera work will get better. You know, I mean, I, I'm improving, but I'm about where I am. <laughs> like right now, technologically speaking. I am as far as I can go at the moment. <laughs> I need to make improvements, but uh, I think the first thing I need is a new microphone because my sound keeps just dipping out on me. It's awful. Uh, <laughs> I am I am doing my best right now. But uh, yeah, hey, I love you guys. Thank you for coming by. Have a wonderful day, and remember to play. Play hard. <laughs> play hard. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace. <laughs>